people go to work asleep. They go to school asleep. They go to church asleep and they die asleep. That means we don't want to wake up and to be woken up is to open your heart to, to the beauty of the world and the people love them. I was born in Paris, boulogne sur seine My father, he had a gallery, and mommy was a painter. 1942, we moved to this little village in the Alps called dieu le -Fille. Everything was amazing, really. It was beautiful, even though it was the war. The flowers and the food. We were free to go where we wanted in the woods and make houses, make friends. I had my boyfriend at 15, 16, we loved each other. And so he followed me down to Valoris where my mother had moved. So that's how I met Picasso through living in Valoris. Picasso had a studio above on a hill a bit. I had a long skirt and ballet shoes and a black top. He noticed me with a huge ponytail, which uh, nobody had so high. And then he said, come in. And he said, I want to paint Sylvette. And all my friends were surprised that it was me. I said, yes, of course, I love it. So that's how it started. We worked for hours. Art is uh, happiness, he said. Art creating is joy. That's how he was very happy when he worked. He really enjoyed doing funny things. One time he drew a spider on the floor and then he forgot he had done it and jumped up in the air. He, he loved being like a clown, he liked that. I was never a lover, of course. I think I brought something happiness and forgetfulness about his worries because his wife was leaving him with two children, Claude and Paloma, and I was in the middle of that. He was like for me a godfather, a father, a mother, a friend, a brother. He was everything, a teacher. He opened doors for me all my life. He could see my true nature because he lived a long life. He met lots of people. He had many women and I was the last to be his muse, really. Picasso gave me confidence to be able to, to paint myself and create. He gave me the love of artworks and things. I started at 45 to paint after I had met my children. I always loved the portrait he's done of me. So they inspired me and they come out like this one behind me. I do lots of different silhouettes. I love it. I love doing people, faces, children, mothers. When I sign my work, I put Sylvette David on the left because I was born Sylvette David, and on the right, my married name and my spiritual name, which is Lydia Corbett. My paintings are my children. I love them because they are my life, or part of me, you know. Imagination is endless, endless. Painting, endless. I could paint until 300,000 years. <laughs> I won't last that long. But it's true, art is extraordinary.